Okay, in section 4.6 of your book, we talk about something called related rates. And this is going to give you an opportunity to use your knowledge of the chain rule and implicit differentiation. So these are problems in which you apply those concepts. So for all related rate problems, it requires that you do a couple of things. First, you want to write an equation that relates the variables. So in any problem, you want to figure out how all the variables are related and write an equation that relates them. After that, you want to differentiate each variable with respect to time. And so this is going to require implicit differentiation. Each variable gets differentiated with respect to time, or variable t. And then finally, you solve for the unknown rate, and that will be the derivative that you're solving for. So as an example, we might say a problem here. A boat is being pulled towards a dock, as indicated in the figure. If the rope is being pulled in at 3 feet per second, how fast is the distance between the dot and the boat decreasing when it is 30 feet from the dot? So you have this person here who has a rope, and the rope is attached to the boat, and they're pulling the rope in towards themselves. They're standing on a dot, and you see that the boat is going to be coming towards the dot on that dashed line. And the height of the rope over where the person is at is about 4 feet. So let's analyze this problem a little bit. So we have an x, y, and z for our triangle. And along the z direction, we have the change in z with respect to t. And then down at the x, we have the change in x with respect to t. And so we're given in the problem that dz dt, or the change in z with respect to time, is 3 feet per second. And in this problem, we must find dx dt when x is equal to 30 feet. So when we solve the problem, we want to see the change in the x direction. That is, how fast is the boat heading towards the dock? At the instant, the boat is exactly 30 feet away from the dock. So the equations that relate the variables, if we look at this, we have a right triangle. And so we know from the Pythagorean theorem that x squared plus 16 equals z squared. And the equation that relates to rates, if we differentiate that x squared plus 16 equals z squared implicitly, remembering that the x is a function of t and the z is a function of t. So for the x variable, the t is the independent variable and the x is a dependent variable. So every time we take a derivative of an x, we have to make sure we get a dx dt term. And similarly, for the z, the t is the independent variable and the z is a dependent variable. So when we take derivatives of z, we get a dz dt. So if we do that, the derivative of x squared is 2x. And then we have to take the derivative of the x, which is dx dt. And that's equal to the derivative of the z, or z squared, which is 2z. And derivative of z is dz dt. And just note, of course, that the derivative of 16 is 0. And you might ask how we got the 16. If you look at the figure, again, because of the Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus y squared equals z squared. But in this case, the y is equal to 4. So 4 squared is 16. So again, we have our equation relating the rates here. dx, I'm sorry, 2x dx dt is equal to 2z dz dt. And remember from the previous slides, we are solving for dx dt. The 2's cancel. And then when we rearrange, we get dx dt is equal to z divided by x times dz dt. So we can find dx dt if we know everything on the right-hand side of that equation. Namely, if we know z, we know x, and we know dz dt. So what's the given information? Well, we're trying to solve this equation at the instant that dz dt is equal to 3 feet per second and at the instant that x is equal to 30 feet. And I say at the instant dz dt is equal to 3 feet per second. That might change, but we're doing it exactly when x is equal to 30 feet. So we can find z at the instant that x is equal to 30 feet using the Pythagorean theorem. So we know that x squared plus 16 equals z squared. And at the instant x is equal to 30, that equation becomes 30 squared plus 16 is equal to z squared. And if we use our calculator, we get z is approximately equal to 30.26 feet. So now if you go back up to the top right-hand corner of the slide, you see that dx dt is equal to z 
divided by x dz dt, as we mentioned before. And now we have all of the information. We know that z is 30.26 feet. We know that x is 30 feet. And we know that dz dt is 3 feet per second. So now we're ready to plug that information in. We multiply. And notice the units. We have 30.25 feet for z, 30 feet for x, and 3 feet per second for dz dt. The feet will cancel in the z divided by x terms, and then our um, product will be feet per second, which is good in terms of the unit because we would expect that dx dt would be in terms of feet per second. When we solve, we get that dx dt is approximately equal to 3.03 feet per second. So I hope this has helped.